um, Soren Impey, and I have rented in Portland for almost 17 years. So I am uh, uh, very much opposed to mandating uh, parking minimums. Um, as you've heard, Portland has is, is suffering from uh, you know a rental crisis with vacancy rates that have been among the lowest in the nation for a very extended period. Um, and thousands of Portland residents have been displaced due to rent increases and redevelopment of units. Um, and low-income people are affected, but in my neighborhood, I'm seeing my middle-income neighbors displaced or moving because of this housing crisis. So I wanted to just make that point because this policy will affect, in the short term, middle-income people more, but they are also being displaced and affected by this housing crisis. Um, you know, and, and I wanted to, to focus, too, on um, the types of, of uh, units or, or buildings that are being built. And uh, it's my understanding that most luxury housing uh, tends to exceed parking minimums. So this policy is really targeting low- and middle-income buildings. So it represents, in essence, an indirect tax on the people who are most affected by the housing crisis. Um, you know, and, and in terms of you know, equity, you know, in terms of uh, rationing, as has been discussed. I do want to also reiterate that if you look at census data in Portland, it is low-income people that tend to use, uh, tend to walk or use transit the most as their transportation mode. So I, I really uh, want to strongly urge you to reject what I view as um, an unfair and unequal indirect tax on lower and middle-income people. So, um, <coughs> You know, and, and apart from housing equity, there's this issue of uh, Portland's climate action plan and uh, Portland's active transportation plans. Um, this would be a big step backwards by, re by sort of reinforcing the idea that we need to mandate parking. Um, we are es essentially making a statement, you know, that, that Portland will not or, or is unwilling to meet its goals, you know, of, of less than 50% um, uh, car mode share, automobile mode share, 25% bike mode share. Um, and I'll, I'll just want to finish um, because there's discussion about the people who own cars um, and are not getting rid of them. I happen to be one of them. I have an electric vehicle. I think I have not driven it um, as a single occupant for years, okay? Um, and why do I have this car? Because parking is so inexpensive and so underpriced in this city. If I had to pay $120 a month for parking, I'd get rid of the car instantly. So I urge you to not support parking minimums. Thank you. Thank you all.